okay guys, we've made it back to the ship, it's all exciting stuff! Meet Verlaine on the bridge, okay, let's get up to the bridge and let's end this stuff, man. The station is gone, the station's gone into the gas giant, man. The aliens are dead, the hive is destroyed, everything is rosy. Everything is rosy! Everything is cool when you're part of the team. Verlaine? Okay, let's Elaine, where's Elaine? Why is she talking to us? Oh, it. Um, fuck. So, hold on a minute. How? This makes no sense. How did the alien get on board? Um, what am I doing here? Left. Okay, left. left. Push it, push, 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 push. Shit. Um Did it What? Okay. Um the spacesuit isn't damaged by the looks of it. Are we still alive? Um Still alive. Oh yes, shit, we are still alive. Is that it? Now little porky pie lie here guys. That isn't a live recording. But I did finish the game last night. That is footage of me finishing the game. And guys brings a little tear to my eye because I have wanted to play this game since it came out about four months ago. I was about you know four months late getting this game. So hyped. I was looking at this game during development. I really wanted to play this game so, so badly. And I have to say, guys, this game has not disappointed in any way. It was the best, one of the best £25 I've ever spent um, in recent times of gaming. I'll be honest, guys. I mean, you know, you buy games all the time and... Um, Think, oh, you know, this could be a really good game. I can't wait to play this, and then you know, you, you get disappointed. But no, guys, this I genuinely mean this has been one of the best investments I have spent in gaming for a long, long time, guys. If you've not played this game, I urge you, if you to go out and buy it. Whether you're a fan of the series or not, it is such a good game. And to be honest, it's the best game for the franchise ever. Period. The the one I've ever played. I mean, I've only <laughs> glad I've only ever played one of them, which was Alien Trilogy uh, on the PlayStation One. So, you, know, you can kind of guess however how long ago. Actually, to lie, I played it. My first one was Alien Three on the Master System, and then Alien Trilogy on the PlayStation One. But guys, I know this franchise has longed for a game that is going to do it just this. This is the one, guys. This is the game. So. Like I said guys, I've been really, really hyped for playing this game for such a long time. I was late getting it because of financial problems, but then when I bought it, I was kind of like, you know what, I think I'm going to poo my pants and I'm probably going to start playing this game, be that scared that um, I'm not even going to finish the game. But you know what guys, yes it was scary in places, yes it was jumpy, yes it had my heart racing, yes it had me shivering, but this game was great. It's a great, it, it kind of like on the borderline of like survival horror, sort of like the the Resident Evil does it, you know, survival horror game. You know, it's like us against the world with defeat, defying all the all the odds to kind of try and um, you know to 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 be the best and to, to survive and get out of there. So yes, guys, it's um, really was a good game. So let's kind of review what happened in this game. So. We came in looking for the flight recorder of the Nostromo to get closure on um, our mother, Ellen Ripley. Okay. Um, now, when we got it, it was blank. Um, but we've since found that um, it seems like, um, what's his name, Marlow on the Anisadora made a copy of the data. And he um, has got a copy on his ship. So he copied the data, I think. I think this is the impression I get. He copied the data on his ship and then handed over a blank flight recorder. Now I thought when we first went onto the Nisadora that Marlow's going to be bad because it was you know, a face hook. I don't know how the face hook got on his ship. I don't know. But it was there. Um, so I thought he was like trying to you know, maybe cash in on it like a bit like the company and you know, try and sell it to the company. But no, we actually found out that he was one of the good guys and he was trying to blow everything up 
to um, save um, mankind just like um, Ellen Ripley would do as he um, so rightly pointed out. So where does that leave the company and where does this feature in the storyline? So the way I see it is this, um, obviously we're in between Alien and Aliens. Um, Whaling Utani, the company, doesn't know where the planet is. Okay, So it was relying on the data of the flight recorder, but since that was blank, they were relying on Sevastopol because the aliens were breeding on the station. Okay, Still on. So the station is gone, the flight recorder data is kaput, and um, as far as we know, they only know of the creature, they don't know how to get to it. They can't look for the beacon, because Marlo and the Anisadora crew disabled the beacon. Okay, So how does the company come across LB-426? Well, my theory is, um, in Aliens we know that they're making lots of atmosphere creator and like colony things. I think personally, they're just randomly putting these on planets um, in the hope that they go onto the right planet where I'll, you know they hope that they find LB426 by chance okay so they're making all these like planetary colonies and these atmosphere craters that we see in aliens um, but then they get a stroke of luck because at the beginning of aliens the lifeboat is recovered and Amanda Ripley during a um, sort of like suspension meeting for lack of a better term when she's suspended from a um, warrant officer um, she actually says you go out to LB426 and you go and check out that ship and you'll find this creature. It's like, hello, dangle a carrot in front of the company's face. So they then relay that to a family who go out and find it and bring the first alien back to the colony and that's how it all, you know, kind of goes. So as far as this game as such goes, it doesn't actually have that much of an effect to... Um, you know the the game the, the the movie series of course because um, you know the company are aware that there's something going on because of what happened on the Nostromo they've got some bits of information and um, you know until Ripley tells them they're just making all these planets in the hope that they'll strike it lucky so let's look at this game now let's look at this game now that we finish and that ending cutscene man so what do we know about this well okay so we it, it would appear that um, the crew of the Torrens are dead. Um, there was an alien on board the Torrens. Don't know how it got there, but it did. Um, as always, an alien always sneaks back onto that last um, ship just when you think you've uh, got rid of them all. But we know for a fact that Amanda Ripley does not die at this point. Um, two things. A, in the cutscene you can see right at the end she's just about to open her eyes as that light flashes across her visor. So we know Amanda Ripley is not dead. Who is picking? Who, who is that light, and where's that light coming from? Again, we don't know. But we also know from Aliens that Amanda Ripley was, I think, either 66 or 68, I think, when she was dead, when she died. So we know that she dies an old lady. So we know that somehow she gets recovered and she makes it back to Earth um, because the picture of her as an old lady looks like it is on Earth. It may not be. You know, it may just be some you know high-tech futuristic um, imagery stuff that um, it's not. So we know for a fact that Amanda Ripley is not dead. So, um, hello, sequel! I really hope there's going to be a sequel, because we need to find out what happens to Amanda Ripley. We really, really do. But, following on from this as well, guys, I read something the other day that um, there is potentially going to be another Aliens film. Now, from what I read, I think what the information I read was a little bit incorrect, because I was told, or I, I was told and I read, um, that it was going to be about the events between Aliens and Alien 3. Okay. But let's think about this, right? Between Aliens and Aliens 3, all that actually happens is they go into hypersleep, the facehugger implants Ripley with the alien, the um, life pods get ejected and they end up on the planet with the jail. I can't think of what the planet's called, so apologies for that. And then all hell breaks loose. Okay, so nothing really, there's no real time delay between Aliens and Alien 3. I think, perhaps, they're going to be making a film. If they are making a film, they're going to make a film between the events between Alien and Aliens which then rings more alarm bells in my head is Alien Isolation going to be turned into a game that would be freaking awesome if we saw Amanda Ripley as a lead character on a new Aliens film and then we can you know they put this into a film I would um, I'd be there man because you know what I love this franchise I mean even here look show you guys I've got the box set the original Alien Quadrology box set here um, and I've been watching them through guys because I really really love the franchise this playing this game has really got me back into 
Yeah, I love aliens, man. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's like, um, yeah, it's like a whole host of things, guys. I really, really, really love the franchise. You know that, guys. So, what is next? Um, probably going to play survive mode on this. I haven't played that yet, so I might stream that. But we're actually going to go over to Colonial Marines, Aliens Colonial Marines. Picked it up from Asda at the weekend for a five, absolute bargain. I've been told it's a bit of a flaky game and it may put me off the franchise. But you know what? I love the franchise regardless. If it's uh, not such a good game, we can always come back to Alien Isolation because I want to harvest the trophies and different bits and pieces out of it as well. I'm trying to get some more trophies. So we'll go back and play some more of this, but um, won't stream. But um, Colonial Marines is on PS3, guys. So it will be a YouTube exclusive. So we will do a Let's Play of that over on YouTube. So uh, make sure you stick around guys, make sure you subscribe if you are an Aliens fan, I will play it from start to finish as I have done here on Twitch, uh, this on Twitch. If you want to see any of the episodes from here that you've missed, I've had issues exporting from Twitch to YouTube, so go and check me out, twitch.tv forward slash noxkidney, check out my highlights, I have cut them all into separate um, episodes so it's easy to watch and you can watch the progression, but... Um, we're coming to the end of the credits now, guys, so I'm going to start to wrap things up because um, there's one important message that we're going to see in the minute on screen. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for supporting me throughout this series. This is the important message, guys. Extra special thanks to Ridley Scott and the crew for creating the universe. Guys, my heart goes out to you. You guys are absolutely awesome. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I've been Nock, and until next time, happy gaming.